Hi everyone this is Veronica today we are going to talk about arctic kelps so these are the underwater forest in the arctic so this is a channel study iq if you're preparing for any government exam or pen drive and tablet courses are also available and this is for the upsc csc 2020 if you're looking for a pen drive course then you can buy it at 625 per month also for greater details or more information you can log into our website so what is the relevance of this topic in your exam see in your mains paper 3 under this topic conservation environmental pollution and degradation it will be covered at objective level you should know what are kelps at subjective level what is the impact of climate change on the underwater ecosystem of the arctic so you can connect with me on instagram and facebook see climate change is altering marine habitat such as the kelp forest on a global scale so we are watching a change because of the climate change in the kelp forest these are the underground forest under marine forest so kelps are disappearing due to warming temperatures especially in the western australia eastern canada southern europe northern california eastern us so kelps are totally disappearing and the temperature here is rising as fast as it has ever been so warm now what are arctic kelp forest now see kelp is a type of large brown seaweed and this grows in shallow nutrient rich salt water near coastal fronts around the world so they occur on rocky coast throughout the arctic region The longest kelp recorded in Arctic in Canada was 15 meters and the deepest was found at 60 meter depth that is in Disco Bay Greenland now kelps function under the water in the same way trees do on land they create this kind of habitat and modify the physical environment by shading light and softening the waves because usually we may wonder what is the benefit of underwater forest so just on land as we you see the proper grown forest the mountains the trees so same is the function of these forest under the water they provide protection shading to the animals and they save the animals from the strong waves also so the underwater forest that kelps create are usually made by so this is usually used by many animals for shelter and the food now there are more than 350 species there so these 350 different species and up to 1 lakh small invertebrates they can live on a single kelp plant and many fish birds and mammals depend on the whole forest now these kelp forest they also help protect the coastlines by decreasing the power of waves during the storm and they reduce the coastal erosion also now let's talk about what makes the kelp so special so many find it surprising that marine plants can grow so well in the harsh arctic environments so kelp have adapted to these severe conditions because other plants that grow on land they may not survive such harsh conditions such cold temperatures freezing temperatures but kelps have good adaptations for that so these cool water species have strategies to survive freezing temperatures and long period of darkness and even they can be grown under sea ice now in regions with cold nutrient rich water they can attain some of the highest rates of primary production of natural ecosystem on the earth now there are many threats to the kelps also like coastal regions and coastal conditions in the arctic are changing dramatically and region is warming faster than the rest of the world but some scientists say that these changes could actually be good for kelp but there are many bad conditions also bad consequences could also come in canada alaska greenland norway siberia permafrost soils that have been frozen for thousands of years are receding now so recently we have seen they are receding by half a meter per year so this thawing permafrost crumbling arctic coast are dumping sediments into the coastal waters so what happens when these sediments are dumped in the 
coastal waters the water becomes very turbid and this is being done at alarming rates which actually blocks the light and could limit plant growth because light is very necessary for the plants to grow but when these sediments cover the water they get mixed with the water they block the sunlight and hence plant growth is altered so the run off from the melting glaciers it increases the turbidity also and it lowers the salinity of the water and increases the turbidity which actually impact the young kelps so it impact them in very negative way now there is an impact what is the importance of kelps so before that just see this so this is the location of kelp forest in the arctic region so this is basically based on 1179 scientific records so this has been taken from some journal you can see what are the observations where the kelps are unstable and eroding coast with sea ice where are the stable coasts so permafrost where it is continuous discontinuous so you can see because of the climatic change all the things are changing now let's talk about the significance of kelps kelp forests throughout the world they play an important role in coastal economies they support broad range of tourism recreational activities and then your commercial activities now kelp is making its way onto plates of north americans and the kelp aquaculture industry it is growing at a rate of 7% per year for the last 20 years globally and this kelp is coveted food source also in many countries because it is full of lot of nutrients for example it is rich in potassium iron calcium fiber and iodine so now you know about the kelp that lush underwater forest of large brown seaweeds are particularly striking in the arctic especially in contrast to the land where ice core and harsh climates leave the ground barren with little vegetation but kelps keep on growing because they have special adaptations for such harsh conditions so there are many threats and we should talk about the management of the kelp forest also because given their complexity of kelp forest their variable structure geography and interaction they actually pose a considerable challenge to the environmental managers also so in many places where kelps are their managers have opted to regulate the harvest of kelp and or taking the kelp forest species by fisheries so while these may be effective in one sense they do not necessarily protect the entirety of the ecosystem for example mpa mpa is your marine protected areas they offer a unique solution that encompasses not only we should target the species for harvesting but also the interaction surrounding them and the local environment as a whole so direct benefit of these mpa marine protected areas to fisheries for example spillover effects have been well documented around the world so indirect benefits have also been shown for several cases among species such as abalone and fishes in central california and most importantly this mpa can be effective at protecting existing kelp forest ecosystem and may also allow for the regeneration of those that have been affected so this is all about today lectures now you know what are kelps now you tell me in the comment box looking at the map where are these kelps usually found around the globe so this is a question for you you can contact me on instagram facebook thank you